Today we are making funnel cakes. I am so excited for this, you guys. Stay tuned. First, we are going to start out with one cup of pancake mix. I am using Aunt Jemima's buttermilk complete pancake mix, but you can use whatever pancake mix you like. Then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. And then I'm slowly going to add in two third cups of water. Then I'm going to add in just a drop of vanilla. Now that we have the right consistency, I am going to transfer the funnel cake batter over to the measuring cup. Hopefully I don't mess this up y'all. I'm very, very clumsy. We'll see how good I do. Okay. And now we're going to transfer the batter from our measuring cup into this uh, condiment bottle, which I got from the dollar store. Um, you can also use an old clean uh, ketchup bottle that you're no longer using or a mustard bottle. Um, any of those will really would work. Um, you'll want to make sure that um, the pot or pan that you're using is the desired size of your funnel cake. For example, if you want a small funnel cake, use a small pan. If you want a large funnel cake, use a large pan because the dough will expand to the size of the pot. Your oil is ready once you start to hear the popping noise and you see the bubbles. Uh, mine is clearly ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, guys. All right, so I'm just going to make a circle. The circle does not have to be perfect, but you want to make sure you're overlapping. And this is definitely a cheat day snack. This is not something that I would eat on a regular basis. So um, yeah, if this is your cheat day, um, definitely try out this recipe. But otherwise I wouldn't recommend it. This is a lot of grease. And we're just going to let this brown on both sides. So we will have to flip it over at some point. Um, as you can see, the dough did expand to the size of the pot. Alright, so now I am going to flip this over. This is probably the challenging part because I do not want the cake to break on me. I got it. I am now going to take this out and place it on a plate with napkins. Now I'm going to add um, some powdered sugar to our funnel cake here just to make it all nice and pretty. And then I'm going to add a few chocolate chips on top but you can do you know whatever you like you can add fruit to yours you can add caramel uh, you can add chocolate syrup uh, this is definitely giving me state fair uh, carnival vibes <laughs> 